What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below, and you guys will get a what, babe? You guys will get a shout out in the next video. That is right. So, guys, today is a very exciting day. Well, actually, tonight is actually an exciting night because it is currently 11:14 at night. So, almost midnight. Right. <laughs> and you want to tell them what we're gonna be doing? We are going to be baking and making iCarly's famous Galini coconut cream pie. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever seen that episode of iCarly with the coconut cream pie, but it was literally like crack to them. It was like they, they were addicted to it. They couldn't stop eating yeah. it. Yeah. And like if you grew up the same era we grew up, like you just really wanted to get your hands on this pie. For real. It made you like, wonder what did it taste like? So they put the recipe on their website. Literally, it's on iCarly.com. So if you want to make this, you can go ahead and go on the website. We're ready to make it. We're getting into step one. Oh wait, no, before that, we're gonna show you guys what you need. Alright, Infinite Fam, so we're gonna read off the ingredients starting with three cups of half and half. Three cups with half and half. Alright, we need we got half and half right here. It is lactose free because we're healthy, I guess. <laughs> Okay, anyway, uh, we need two eggs. Two huevitos. Okay, don't drop them, don't crack them. We're gonna need three fourths cups of white sugar. White sugar, is that cane sugar? Yeah, I have organic cane sugar. Cane sugar again, we're healthy. A half cup of all purpose flour. Give it a little slap, that's how you know it's good. <laughs> One fourth teaspoon of salt, we gotta get that. That's salt. That's salt. small, that's like no. literally right in the flour. Is this not the salt that you guys have at home? Please let us know, comment down below. Puerto Rican household. Yeah, I see this in a lot of Spanish households. Doesn't mean that it's only in Spanish households, but let me know what, what kind of salt you got. And next we need one and one fourth cup of coconut flakes. Coconut, all right, we got that, okay. Coconut flakes, moist and delicious. Mm. Three fourths teaspoon of vanilla extract. Vanilla extract, okay, we got that. And then we need the pie shell. Got that. And the last one is one frozen whipped topping. And we got that, but it's oat based. Again, healthy. No, 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 no. What? No. Why not? Because no. All right, babe, take it away. What is step number one? Okay, so step one, we're going to have to put this in the oven for like 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and preheat the oven for uh, about whatever, however long it takes to preheat, but I'm going to put it to 350 and then it's going to bake for about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll take it out and then we'll start mixing the other ingredients. So we'll see you guys in 15 Just minutes. Just promise me one thing. What? Don't burn the house down. No promises. Oh yeah. <laughs> so while the oven preheats, we're just going to go ahead and start mixing everything. So go ahead and get to the mixing, babe. All right. So you need three cups of half and half. So this is one cup. Don't All right. I'm, I may sound dumb. What? I may sound dumb. What is half and half? Half and half of what? Don't ask me. I don't even know what half and half is. Like, what are we using half and half of? <laughs> I'm, I'm convinced. I'm scared. A half milk, half cream, I think. That's what it is? Half milk and half cream? I, I don't know. See, how do we know exactly what that is? <laughs> Look at your nails, though. Popping in Look at that snake skin. Mm, period. You a south side serpent? Yeah. South side right, serpent? Babe, you want to do the next step? Well, I gotta do the next step. You getting lazy on me? No, I can do it if you want me to. No, I wanna do it. All right then, exactly. <laughs> Don't drop the eggs. Oh, you scared? You scared? Stop, stop, scared? please. That's you giving scared? me so much anxiety, scared? babe. Stop, stop, stop. Woo, woo, Oh woo. my gosh. Right, I'm gonna lie, I'm getting scared too. All Don't right, so do that. I gotta put two eggs in this uh, half and half? Yes. Okay. Try not to break the shells, okay? Girl, I don't break shells. All right, go ahead. Boy. Cuevito. Damn, did you guys see that? Like flew everywhere. That reminded me of this morning. Okay. Here we go. Egg number two. All right. Oh my gosh. Guys, he scares me. I scare myself. Yeah, I don't know why you do stuff like that. Here we go. Two eggs, done. Perfect. Give me the camera because I'm getting nervous. All right, I'm next. All right, next step, it says that we need three fourths cup of sugar. Yeah, so we don't have a three-fourths measure, so I'm just gonna like put it up to, you know. Yeah, we gonna eyeball three -fourths. it. Three-fourths, you know, 75 cents? We gonna eyeball it, 75%, babe. 75 cents. 75 That's how I learned it in, when I was a kid. That is not 75. Stop, I'm shaking it. That's a half. What? That's half. Okay, I'm shaking it. I'm putting more. Yeah, more sugar, yeah. All right, I think that's enough. 
Oh uh, yeah, that's a lot of sugar. Oh. Oh, what's that? Eggs. Ew. Let me see. That's the huevito. See it? Yeah, look at the, the huevito. The huevito swimming. Look at the huevito. <laughs> white stuff all right <laughs> there it is folks right there that's the face that said it so it looks like we're up to 350 degrees we're good with the preheat babe do the honors throw that shell all right so first in I'm the going oven. to set the timer it's for 15 minutes okay okay and then i'm gonna put this in here please don't burn yourself Mushy. Oh, that's hot. I feel it. I almost melted my face off. Watch the huevitos. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to put, I don't know how much it's, uh, let's see. A half a cup, so that's here, of all-purpose flour. You know what we should do with that flour when we're done? What? We should take the sack, put a pamper on it, draw a happy face, and then I could be a dad for a day. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a plan? Sure. Yeah! Alright, it's all in there. Mmm, that's what she said. All right, so the next step we have, we have to get one and one fourth cup of this uh, coconut flakes. Mm -hmm. so coconut flakes. Oh yeah, baby, do that. I freaking love coconut flakes. <laughs> Fun fact about Janice, she hates coconut, yeah. so I'm interested to see how you're going to. I know. This pie. I really don't like coconut. All right, I can pour it in, right? Go ahead, babe. Pour right. it. Pour it. it with pour the it. Mmm. Y'all see that? All right, and then yeah, we need one-fourths more. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see you pour. Let's see you pour. This is such a small little thing. I'm going to spill Damn. all over this. Yes, yeah, stop pouring. It's not coming out. That's what she said. That's exactly what she said. <laughs> Actually, that is what he said. Oh, my God. We're getting messy. Mm. We're getting messy. I like it messy. Whoa. Got the one-fourths. Mm-hmm. And it's in. Perfect. Got to clean up my mess. Yeah, yeah, this looks like mozzarella cheese. It does. That's gross. All right, guys. So the last ingredient is one fourth teaspoon of salt. I'm really scared. I don't want to spill it. Yeah, and guys, we don't have the one fourth measurement, so we're just going to be doing half of a half, <laughs> and we're going to see how that plays out. Probably like such an irrelevant ingredient, but whatever. Yeah, that's like a really tiny amount of salt. So now we are going to put this to a boil, mix it up, and we're going to pour it into the shell. Please don't burn the house down. I'm not. Right, so now we have to put it to a low heat, which we did, and then we just have to continuously stir it. Yes, we know we're using something for icing. We don't care. <laughs> um, we just got to keep stirring until it gets to a low boil. So we'll see you guys then. This stinks. It stinks. It don't smell good. Mmm, that's the upper lip. Mmm. Guys, I've been mixing it like this instead of the uh, icing thing for the past, like, I don't know, 10 minutes. And it is working wonders. So don't believe me and don't make fun of me. <laughs> but we have to take a quick break because the oven went off. It was hot. Ooh, do you guys hot. see the steam? How am I going to grab this? That is a good question. Please don't burn yourself. No Ooh. promises. Woo! That looks good. How's that looking? It looks good to me. Let's eat it like that. It's cracked, but you know. You're cracked. Y okay. You're cracked at Fortnite. I am. You're not. Pretty good. You're not. Hey. Hey guys, she actually got her first kill <laughs> not too long ago. It took like 30 games, but she finally got one. Yeah, and now I can't practice because our Xbox broke, but let's not talk about that. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. Cause like my heart is broken. Cause I was really, Yours I was really broken. getting better. Yours is broken? Don't lie though, I'm good at finding all of like the blue treasure chests and shit. What have I been doing for the past like month? <laughs> Playing Mario? <laughs> yeah. Playing the Switch? Yeah, but we're not gonna talk about that. Alright, so we're going to see whenever this comes to a boil and then we're gonna pour it in there and then in the fridge it goes. So now that that is pretty much done, we're gonna do a Three fourths a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna actually pour this over there. Yeah. Okay. We're trying to hurry up because yeah. we actually didn't realize how thick it would be. Yeah, I'm not pouring this whole thing. I poured a little bit too much, so I don't wanna do too much. Now we stir that in, and then we gotta pour it into the pie crust. So let me just mix this real quick. Look how it came up, guys. It's like so freaking thick. Ew, it looks like mashed potatoes. <laughs> Ew. That's disgusting. Oh, but it smells good. Does it? Yes, like the steam is hitting my face and it actually smells really good. I can't smell anything. <laughs> I hope it tastes good. I hope so too. I hope we. I, hope I don't we do know. It right. Like it, it said that to bring it to a boil, but like it never boiled. So we're like, okay, it's it getting really thick. <laughs> yeah, let's put it to the side. But yeah, let's see that pour. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I smell it now. Nah, you know what? It might. Yo, it might come out really nice after it like chills and thaws and all that. Hopefully. 
I think it's gonna come out really nice. All right, so I'm gonna make that look pretty and then we are going to put it in the fridge. No food goes wasted in this house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll catch you guys when we're done yeah. doing this. <laughs> if this video doesn't go on YouTube, it's because the house burned down. <laughs> All right, Infinite Fam, so I have it all done. It's all pretty and ready to go in the fridge. So we're going to put this in the fridge. It has to be chilled for two to four hours. So we're going to go ahead and go to bed because it is midnight, as you can see here. I'm going to shower, go to bed, and we'll see you guys when we wake up for a taste test. All right, guys, it is now the following morning. We are going to put the finishing touches, well, Janice is actually going to put the finishing touches mm -hmm. on the coconut cream pie. It looked like it settled really well. It looks pretty good. It's, like, firm, as you can see. Yeah, it got, like, pretty dang stiff. And I did wash my hands. No, Don't you didn't. Come for me. Yeah, I did. All right, all right, babe, take it away. Make it look all pretty and whatnot. Here we go. What the heck? What are you doing? Making it pretty. You're going to go around the whole thing like that? That's how you're supposed to do it. Oh, we're going to be here for a while, guys. Hold on. So cut to the part where this is already done. Babe, you want to tell them what this gap right here is about? We ran out. Like, <laughs> how does that even make sense? You know what that's about? Because you were dogging it yesterday. Shut up. If I took one little... Just one. Just one. And what do we need? Just one. Well, That's how about all we, just we need. Spread it? I'm OCD. I have to make it look nice somehow. So I'm going to try to spread it all over. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh my God. I'm scared. Are you scared? I'm scared. I think it's going to look good. I hope it comes out looking good. We need a thumbnail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm going to put the coconut flakes on now, but we have to put it back in the fridge because it needs to be a little bit more firm. It is oat milk topping, so like it melts more than regular whipped cream. So here we go. You gotta make it look all pretty, babe. I know, I'm trying, I'm trying. Then we gotta do a taste test. I'm scared. All right, now it's time. Okay, so guys, we put the whipped cream on. You guys saw the coconut flakes. We let it chill in the fridge for about like five minutes. Looks good. Now it's time to give it a cut and see what it tastes mm. like. You want a big piece or a small piece? I want a medium piece. Okay, so I'm gonna start from right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's nice and firm. Hell yeah. Okay. Coconut flakes are moving a bit, but that's normal. Here we go. I'm really scared. I feel like it's gonna be good. I'm really scared. Hmm. Oh, it's mushy. Oh no, is it not ready? I don't know. <gasps> it's mushy. No! It's not breaking. No! Going downhill, going downhill, going downhill. Babe, what'd you do? What do you mean, what did I do? Oh, we left it for like eight hours. Why is it so mushy? I don't know. Right, okay, well, we're it doesn't matter how we're it looks. We're gonna eat it anyway. It doesn't matter how it looks. It's all about how it tastes. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and give the folks what they want. Switch sides. <laughs> do not mind the baby lotion in the back. We stay lubricated. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Go ahead. I'm scared for you. I'm nervous. It looks and smells good. Well, I don't know about looks anymore, but... Okay, ready? Go ahead. Oh my god. I'm praying for you. Oh my god, this is so good. You're such a liar. Are you lying? Mm -mm. Are you serious? Holy shit. You're such a liar. Dude, I'm not. Give me... Alright, take the camera. Take the mm -hmm. camera. Here. It's my turn. My turn. Wow. Alright, baby. Ready for this? Not really. Here we go. Woo! Okay, take two. Here we go. Mm. How is that, babe? Oh, you don't like it? No, it's good. It kind of tastes like pudding a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong. It's really, really good. But in my opinion, I feel like if it were a little firmer, 10 out of 10. Right now, 9 out of 10. It was really, really good. You're uh, such a critic. I'm Gordon Ramsay, baby. Oh, goodbye. I don't care. I have this whole other pie. I'll beat you up. I'll throw it in the sink. No, you won't. You're right. I will. All right, guys. So that is it for today's video. I really did like it. Um, I didn't have much of a reaction because I was really trying to like taste it and try to see what it really was about. Like I said, I give it a 9 out of 10. What it was about. Like we're like dissecting a movie or something that's what i am like we made a whole creation and i'm like trying to see how it really genuinely tastes so i rate it a 9 out of 10 if it were firmer 10 out of 10 it tastes really good it tastes exactly like coconut i think it's a 9 out of 10 
like it tastes like coconut to me. You're crazy. The flakes are right on top of it. Yeah, I mean, I could do without the flakes, but I felt like the pie itself like tastes like custard. I don't know what custard tastes like. It reminds me of mustard, so we're not going to talk about it. So let us know if you want to see more videos like this because we genuinely enjoy doing baking videos. If you guys want, we can do like baking videos once a week. Yeah, so just drop a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think. If you guys do want another baking video, let us know down below what we should bake. Don't put nothing basic like chocolate chip cookies or nothing like that. We're not going to be doing that. We want to do like stuff like this. Yeah. Stuff that's like crazy. Stuff that's challenging. So that is it for today's video, guys. We hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that like button. Also, don't forget to post a positive comment down below for a chance to win a post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to iCarly. <laughs> Shout out to Miranda Cosgrove for being on iCarly and doing this coconut cream pie episode. Without you, girl, this was impossible. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we gotta say. And we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>